Hello, welcome back. Don't panic, people. I've not gone on a healthy eating kick. Well, not yet. I should do, though. One day. One day. But I saw this in Tesco's. It's £2.50. Get that out of the way before I forget. £2.50. And it is the gym kitchen. It says food to fuel. Chicken tikka masala. Macro counted. You'll be glad, Miles. You've got calories coming up on this one. High in protein. 365 calories per pack. And that's for the curry and the rice. It says about it, chicken tikka masala, cooked marinated chicken pieces in a tikka masala sauce and a brown rice, lentil and spinach mix served with red onions and peppers. I'm telling you now, it ain't going to look like that. They never do. Should, these companies should be had up, shouldn't they, for like putting real posh and nice looking food on the boxes. And then when you open it, it's like just chucked in there. But anyway, uh, that's about all it says about it. It says the same on the back. Uh, as I say, 365 calories a pack, uh, two of your five a day apparently. It's mild, so I can't knock it saying it's not hot. It's a tikka masala, cooked straight from frozen, that's all good. So let's see, as it says on the thumbnail, just in case you didn't read it, it's the gym kitchen, it's healthy, macro counted. Does less on your waist mean less on your taste? Let's have a look. Is it any good? Okay, all done, all dinged. I, the only thing I have added is a touch of salt to this because all these ready meals don't have enough salt into me. Uh, so, that's what it looks like. Hmm, the, the rice don't look too bad, I suppose. Brown rice. It is, um, it is only like half full. Look, look it just massive thing with like half full uh, I think it's 400 grams on it but I don't know does look quite a bit of chicken in there it's got red peppers in with the tikka there is a slight tikka smell but the one problem I've got is they have put red peppers in and they've put quite a few red peppers in as you can see quite a few of them now the problem we're using peppers red green whatever if you use too many of them the smell sort of takes over the smell of everything else because they, they are quite strong smelling peppers when they're cooked and i'm a bit worried because the taste as well if they put too many red peppers in which they have put a lot in that's all you're going to taste it's it, it's quite a strong taste so mm, if it's not highly spiced enough this could be a bit lacking on the taste can't smell anything from the rice apart from there is that spinach smell coming through but let's try the rice first shall we The rice, I can tell we're looking at it and the taste, it's long grain and I don't like long grain and I don't like brown. So that's a double whammy for not liking on the rice. But I do have to say it's not too bad. It's not bad. Um, it's ding rice, but the, the spinach does get a bit of flavour and there's a different texture from the lentils that are in. I'd have to say the rice gets a thumbs up. It's not bad. Right, curry. Let's go in with the sauce. Very slight tikka smell coming through. Mm, let's try the chicken. Then we can get into it. You know, short reviews now. So, chicken. It's all right, the chicken. Let's try the chicken, the sauce, and the rice together. And then we'll get into it. Mm, all right then. Let's do this uh, three ways. The rating on the rice is a thumbs up. It's not bad, it's not bad the rice. The overall rating is an unsure, in fact, I would go as far as to say it's an unsure throw down early. It's not getting it down. The rice saves it and it's not, blech, so it's just getting a, an unsure stroke down early for the whole thing. And that's because the curry gets ooh, a downily again. Um, the chicken's all right. There is quite a bit of chicken in there. The consistency of the curry is all right, but it's lacking in flavour. I've not got hardly any of that tikka flavour coming through. There is a bit of spice there. I'm getting it back of my tongue, back of my throat. 
not red hot, but there is a bit of spice to it, which is good. But I just think, and I don't want to say the word, but it's anyone I can think to describe the curry, is it's, it's a bit bland. That's all I can say on it, really, I suppose. Click the thumbs up on this video as well. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you just found us. It's free, you know that. Drop your comments in below. Have you tried this? Are you going to try it? Do I recommend it? It depends. If you're on a health kick, then yeah, try it. If you're not, I think you're going to be slightly disappointed with the curry. The rice is okay for long grain, but there you go. That's my thoughts on it. You may differ. We all have our own thoughts, and I'll catch you on another one. Ta-ta!